This is how to set up a Pontiac MSD distributor with the Atomic EFI. So I have the MSD Atomic fuel injection system on my Trans Am. I'm currently running the MSD Pontiac ready to run distributor, which is hidden back there. But I want to run the timing with the MSD Atomic. So got a new distributor here that has the correct magnetic pickup connector because I don't want to molest and destroy my $600, $550 MSD ready to run. I'd rather just buy a new distributor. So I'm gonna do that. Maybe sell my old one once I get this running and I'll compare the two. Here it is, just open the box. And as you can see, this is the connector I was looking for. This is gonna plug into my ignition box and the MSD Atomic throttle body. Other than that, it's essentially identical to the distributor I have, minus the vacuum advance. This also does not have a vacuum advance. And you do not want a vacuum advance on your MSD Atomic if you're gonna use it to control the timing. There are a few exceptions and the directions of the MSD Atomic will tell you that. Here it is, <clears throat> out of the box. Comes with the little goodies there, new springs and bushings. First things first, just going to demonstrate that this thing runs fine with the distributor in it. The MSD ready to run. Just one more view of the setup. The MSD Atomic up top. This is the magnetic pickup wire coming out of the throttle body. There is my ready to run distributor still installed. I'm getting rid of the, I'm not sure if you can tell. Oh, you can see that. So I'm almost at zero and zero. So I bumped my starter until I got close. And I'm gonna check and make sure it's at top dead center, which I know I am because I already checked it, but that's what you wanna do first is get your number one cylinder close to top dead center. That's gonna make sure that when you take out your distributor, whether you mark it or not, put in a new one, it'll be easier. Another thing is I'm going to write down, I know the firing order already in a Pontiac. Um, I have the Haynes manual also, but I've labeled all my wires on the cap and on the wires themselves. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. my wire. You can see I have it marked as number six. And then on the wire, I also wrote number six on it right there. So that's how I label my wires. So I know I'm going to put them back correctly next time. Now I'm going to replace this entire distributor, so I'm going to have to check it all again. But if you just pull out your distributor and you modify it, uh, this is a good way to do it. So I just unplugged my ready to run distributor with the three wire harness. And that wire harness is the whole reason I bought a new distributor. It's because I don't want to chop this one up. And I don't feel like replacing the pickup and doing all that crap. I just bought a new distributor. But I took it out. Then this bolt down here is the distributor hold down. That's a half inch. So I'm gonna get my impact my electric impact and take that wire out. Pull the cap off and pull the distributor. Before I get overzealous, I am going to pull the distributor cap off first and mark the rotor. Make sure I'm at one. Okay, so I'm checking. So this is eight. And my rotor is pointing right here to this one. I checked already, but I'll show you. So there's my rotor pointing directly to number one because it goes eight then one in the Pontiac firing order. You can see this wire is marked as one. It's hard to see but it's one. So I know I'm at top dead center for one. So I'm good. So now I'm gonna plug the distributor. So here are the two distributors. This is the new one. You can see no vacuum advance, brand new. Magnetic pickup. This is the three wire connector with the 
advance. This is the ready to run distributor. So I just pulled it out. It was running fucking awesome. This one's going in so I can use electronic timing control. First thing we're going to have to do though is put this race phase adjustable distributor cap or rotor cap on the distributor. So we're going to take this one off and replace it with this one because you need that with the MSD Atomic. Probably with this Holly Sniper also. So we're going to take this cap off. We're going to lock out the mechanical advance. And I'm going to put that cap on. The rotor you need for the phase adjustable is part number 84211 from MSD. So I'm not going to walk you through how to lock out the mechanical advance <clears throat> because the MSD Atomic actually has a really good video using a Pontiac distributor just like this on how to do it. But I'll tell you real quick, the first thing you do is remove the pin. You take the cap off, and then with the pin out, you can just pick up the, uh, take off the weights and springs, and then rotate it 180 degrees and lock it back into place. And it's that easy. The whole thing probably takes 15 minutes. If you're fooling around, taking a long time, you can probably do it faster. But it's pretty easy. Look at the MSD Atomic video to learn how to do it on this Pontiac distributor. Again, I was going to do it on this, but since it doesn't have the right connector, I didn't. I took the cat, the rotor off, and this is what the springs and weights look like before you lock it out. I just took these for reference. Okay. I hammered out that pin. I rotated this 180 degrees. You can see that the nut and stud is in the lockout hole instead of the adjustable eccentric hole right there, hard to see, instead of that one where it can slide around. So now it is solid. I cannot advance or retard the timing. It's locked. That's locking out the mechanical timing. And I'm about to put this cap on and I'm going to phase it out by 15 degrees. I have installed the two-piece adjustable phase rotor. It's brand new, it's just dirty. And now that it's installed, I put it 15 degrees out in accordance with the uh, recommended initial installation instructions. And this is a counterclockwise rotating distributor because it's Pontiac, here's the book. Here's a firing order, just in case you need it. So here I have reinstalled the new distributor and I made sure that the rotor was pointing in the exact same direction as it was previously. So I'm going through and changing from my old cap to my new cap. And you'll see my old cap, I had them all marked. I'm doing the same thing on my new cap as I go. So one by one, I'm marking them and installing them. So you see that's six right there. So I'll continue around. Okay, so I've installed the distributor. I made sure the firing order was correct, and it was. Um, I hooked up the handheld. And since I set it to 15 degrees before top dead center, I followed the MSD instructions and I timed the car, it started right up, and I timed the car to 15 degrees. So you take your handheld, you go to advanced setup, ignition timing, and these are the numbers I used. At 900 RPM, 12 degrees at idle. And then at 2,500 RPM, I put 35 degrees, and I just swagged it at six and a half for vacuum advance. You're gonna have to experiment with that. And then you lock the timing, and using your timing light, you make sure it's at 15 degrees. I already did this, but I'm gonna show you again anyway.
it's a little advanced. I'm going to have to retard the timing a little bit to make sure that the timing mark aligns with zero on the timing tab. And that's because I have a electronic programmable timing light set to 15 degrees. All right, I just rocked in, just shaking it a little bit. A little bit too far bent, so I'm going to peg it out a little bit counterclockwise to retard it a little bit. Distributor on your 455 Pontiac 